We needed to lift heavy things up high, so Fred built this portable tractor-mounted gin pole. It features two raw log poles that are tensioned into the corners of the tractor bucket using come-alongs and a log spacer. The come-alongs attach to the tractor bucket and Fred's custom welded steel end plate, which has a ring for chains or pulleys to hook onto. Adding 10 feet of length to the end of the tractor bucket, this tool makes hoisting beams into place simple and fast. The single gin pole. It's a modified design off of Fred's dual gin pole design. He developed the hardware in the dual gin pole, uh, including this nice welded plate, which I'm just using with spacers next to the existing log. So this was to give us a little bit longer reach. The other gin is 10 feet, um, including the bucket. This is 16 feet, including the bucket. So we're able to get into not only um, longer distances, but we're also able to get into areas where the dual um, gin pole design wouldn't reach because of <coughs> having the two poles. Here our only concern are the, the guy wires from the come-alongs. So this has got some advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantage, it cannot lift near as much as a dual gin pole because of its length. Although we've added 100 pounds to the back of the tractor, it's easy to tilt the wheels off the ground with this. But for its designed use, uh, putting things in like the berm shed where we have very little room to work with, it's actually quite adequate. <clears throat> and especially if we use dry wood. So I'm just making a disclaimer in case it fails. <laughs> but the design does work. And so we'll see how well it works on this log. It's a, this is 128 inches long. Uh, probably weighs around 400 pounds plus. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about roundwood timber framing, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.